Hello again, EDF friends! Welcome back to our Let's Play of Earth Defense Force 2 for the PlayStation TV slash Vita. I'm really excited to get this started. Um, I really enjoyed the beginning, but of course it starts out a little slow, but I think it gets pretty exciting pretty fast, so let's continue playing this. I think I'm going to um, stay with Wing Diver. Uh, last time we got an E-Clat, <coughs> which was... <coughs> this thing is so bad. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so this thing is 140 meter... <laughs> I can't talk now. <coughs> Man, <coughs> don't breathe when you're swallowing at the same time. <coughs> anyway, sorry. Um, so we have the Thunderbow, which is only 140 meters in this game. Very, very uh, short range. And the E-Clat, <coughs> 8 times 20. So this is like a Thunderbow, but with one shot. Instead of having to reload every time, this is 60%. I really like the um, the plasma launcher I had last time. Very, very strong. I got a new one, though. This is, uh, <clears throat> this shoots, what? 150 damage, 16%. This is so much better, though. 18% only. I'm taking that for sure. And then I think we didn't get anything else, so... I think we'll just have to th stick with the uh, rapier. Um, yeah, unless we're fighting wasps. I don't know if we're fighting wasps. Let's find out. Deploy. Choose a mission. Overnight, the giant ants have built a towering fortress. They're using the fort tower as a base to attack civilians. Get out there and crush that anthill. No, this is an anthill, apparently, so... Choose your difficulty. Let's give us a try. Be there you can see the d in this game and the drones on the load screen. So the drones look a lot like EDF 5. No, that's a wasp. Yeah. That's cool. That is such a cool, like, level 3 or 4 or whatever. I mean, that's... Look at that. So, yeah, that's that's wasp. So, I need to change my weapons. I need to use Thunderbow, probably. I think Thunderbow would be good. Let's see. Weapons. Don't need Rapier at all. Probably take Thunderbow and something long range. I guess I guess we'll take the Ion Cannon since this is a two-way. Let's use a two-way since the other one's so hard to hit anything with. The Tower of Pestilence. <laughs> but yeah, this these these uh, wasps look different in this game. See, there's tanks I can't use, or a bike, but you can use it as a ranger. Look at that! There, look at that guy! What is he doing? He's taking the bike! Oh my goodness! He's like, man, I want this. I always wanted one of these for my kids. What is he gonna do with it? It's, oh my goodness! It's, oh dear! Okay. He released it. It's too heavy. Interesting. Alright, I don't know what the range of this thing is, but... Alright, this could be tough. We'll see, because I only have 115 health, so I may need to actually go underneath the bridge or something. We have confirmed reports that the Buggernauts have taken Tokyo. Also, this just in, there have been sightings of... Look at that. What is that? Is that the nest? Oh my goodness, what have I done? Get me away from here! Get me out of here! Well, that's, that's not fair, they shoot acid. It's a lot of dudes on the roof. Can I shoot him through the roof? Looks like I can, actually, that's cool. Wow, these things hurt. Once again, this is like a um, a health check, I think. Well, at least at least um, I don't feel as cheap because they can shoot me through the top too, and I can shoot them through the top. So it's all fair. Hopefully, some health, and then we'll be all right. But. Oh, the turning's so slow. 
There's so many of them. I don't know how I'd fight this, honestly, um, with with energy weapons, because I need something that I can reload. Like, if I was trying to fly the whole time, I would be dead, because I'd have to reload and overheat. So, I guess I'd have to use a laser to fight these things, if I had a laser, which I don't have a laser, but... There's a health there, at least. These things are vicious, my goodness. And they're so fast. That's 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 usually not a good thing when you're playing on a um, PlayStation portable device with the analog stick and all that. This is where I need to be, I think, though, with my health. I still might die, actually. I need like a homing. I wonder if she has a homing grenade in this game. I would assume so. Hmm. I'm trying to think if I, I don't really have any weapons I can use on this. To fight out in the open, I mean. Maybe they're not that fast if you're outside. They sure look fast. Oh my goodness. There is like no help. I mean, I'm just gonna go outside and test if I can do this. Yeah, my health is so bad. Oh wow, these things... These things are so fast for having such a bad uh, aiming. I guess what I could do is I could fight a little bit out there and then when I need to reload, I can go underneath the bridge to reload. Because, yeah, those things are way too fast. Looks like you can knock their wings off. Sometimes they fall down to the ground or something. Alright, let's go back out. I have 12 health. That sucks. There we go. Kill some of these. Okay, I can't I can't reload. Yeah, this thing's garbage when you're flying with it. There is some health up there. That's good. Let's go in here and reload here. Alright, not bad. I guess I can just fight out here and then go back in. Wow, those things are way too good. Give me the help! Okay, three more. I can shoot. There's a health there. Yeah, I can't imagine trying to snipe those with this analog setup. My goodness, it's not very easy. Alright, good, we did it. So, I can fight out in the open, that's good to know. So, let's heal up here. And we have more enemies, of course. Oh my goodness, they see me already. I didn't think they would see me right away. I thought I had to pull them. Alright, let me go to the end here. I'm going to reload first, and then go at the end and fight. I guess I could fight some of these really quickly while I'm waiting to, to use all my ammo up. Why did that one take so many hits to kill? Okay. Yeah, these things don't have little amount of health. They have full ant health, it feels like. Yeah, they're so fast. They actually, the, the wasps in 2025 are easier. 
and in EDF five and like like they made them so that they stop and then they stop more, it seems like. Okay, let's reload. And apparently they drop nothing in this game again, like before, which is not good. Assuming there's gonna be three waves. It's a good weapon though, I like the Thunderbow here. Oh, that hurt. Three shots. And I guess I kind of can reload out there, but I'm not going to chance it. It's too dangerous. Yeah, I'll be happy to get a laser, for sure. I think that would be a good weapon, as long as it's low energy cost, because I need something where I can fight long range, and rapier is, is good for the ground enemies, but, um, oh, I wasn't paying attention to my energy. I'm glad I didn't reload there. I almost shot my last shot there. I'm assuming there's going to be one more wave, because three waves. Her hair looks the same as an EDF 5. Like, it's, it hasn't improved. <laughs> this still looks like paper. Maybe she just liked a lot of hairspray, I don't know. Yeah, I hate that wasps don't drop much much uh, items. It always it makes them difficult. I'd like to have one weapon. I think I haven't even got one weapon yet. I can reload now, I think. <clears throat> That's always been the problem with the Thunderbow. Like, I'm glad they made the change to EDF-5 because it costs too much energy to reload it. So it really limits your use of it. Okay, last wave, probably. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. That's a lot of them this time. I might fight a few underneath here, I think. Actually, I get hit more underneath here than I do outside, I think. I don't think the Thunderbow shoots through the ceiling, but it definitely um, hits enemies that bounce out underneath the ceiling. I actually think it'd be better to have the, the Thunderbow this range, you know, under 200 meters, because it's so dangerous having... Oh, that's a lot of enemies. It's so dangerous to have the, such a high range because you pull too many enemies with it, which always I, I didn't care for in, in the old games. These things are way too fast. <laughs> Did I say that yet? <laughs> um, don't die now. Oh no. Come on, reload! Oh dear, 10 health. Oh. oh my goodness. Okay, let's... If I, if well, I'm ha What I'm going to do this time around is if I die, I'm going to play it on normal. Because I don't want to uh, make it too tough. Not multiplayer, I didn't mean to do that. I just wish I had a good weapon to use besides this Thunderbow, because it's not good. Maybe Rapier could work. 30 meters? I don't know. We'll try it. Let's do it on normal. That way I can fight by the Hive and it'd be a lot faster, because it'd just be three waves. I mean, they got pretty close to you. Maybe you could use the Rapier. I don't think we're killing the nest yet. This is squad two. We're on site. 
I don't see any NPCs. I was able to kill that one. Looks to me like maybe you can use a rapier on them. Yeah, that's not bad. Actually, that's not bad at all. Wow. Well, I mean, now I know. At least now I know that. Learned something here. It works really good because it seemed like it, it damages them, knocks them to the ground. And then it allows you to kill them on the ground too, so... Oh, I overheated. Need to be careful. All health. I'm curious if they rape your thrust in this game. I don't know. Bring it on. Safe to assume it's their nest. But that Can I kill this thing? Doesn't appear so. Come on, quit giving me help. I need weapons. Well, this works so good. I wonder if it would work on hard, you know? Am I seriously getting all health? Alright, where are you? Why are you not coming here? health again. Oh, you can't look up in this game. You have to, you know, the highest you can look is like right, right there. I don't understand that. Is that so you don't get disoriented or something? Is that why they do that? I don't understand why they do that. I love that angle walk. It's so good. I actually could fly up to the hive and actually fight up in the the hive, like when they come out, I could kill like half of them out of the one hole. Wow, rapier's so good. But this is cool. I mean, starting out mission three with a huge nest already, I like that. I remember this game getting pretty pretty good fast. So. Oh, it's like we might be going underground. Alright, so that's health, 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 health. Everything's health. Health. Wow. Maybe because it's normal, they want to give you more help? I don't know. Another health. <laughs> Two more enemies. Yeah, I guess, like in, old, in newer EF games, the wasps stay further back, but at the same time, they also... The underground, but they also um, like will back away. At the wasps in the new games will back away if you get too close to them. Whereas this game, you actually could fly up to them, which is nice. So, yeah, we didn't get any weapons, but that's fine. I think we're underground now, so that's cool. I'm gonna definitely take wing diver. Mission. Choose a mission. Yep, we spotted another swarm of giant ants. This is just a theory, but they might have a nest underground. So if so, it explains everything. But it's also bad for us. Enter the subway time subway line and search for the nest. Alright, let's take the old plasma fall because explosions in small caverns is always good. And rapier. I think I had to take rapier. Let's go with hard. Alright. Oh, wow. Look at this weapon. That is so unfair. They have, like, no chance to get through here, I think. 
<laughs> Look at this. Oh wow, I love this. It looks so good too. You keep lining them up, I'll keep knocking them down. Oh, how did that go through him? That was weird. Let's not chance this and use that. Hello. I wonder if you see any NPCs in this game, because I have yet to see anybody to help me out. need to be careful because I could kill myself at one shot with this thing, I think. Looks like they can come from both sides, maybe. Let's be careful. Yeah, this is a very good weapon for tunnels, my goodness. Alright, let's take a look at this cavern a little bit more. I can't believe there's a nest like this right here in Tokyo. Not just Tokyo. London I like it, it looks pretty cool. cool. Like it's very Oh wow, whoa, 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 whoa. The world. The very world. vertical. Yeah. These things are infesting the whole planet as we speak. They've taken our world and made it into the Oh look at this. Farm. Really? There's grass in the PS Vita version, but they can't put grass and shrubbery in the in the EDF 5 game on PS4? Come on now. That's all I wanted was like green grass and rocks and stuff. That's hilarious to me. I am in love with this weapon. My goodness. Oh, I almost didn't change my weapon there. I almost died. Um, I want to go to a tunnel because I don't trust myself. I don't feel in control in this game with my character. I feel like I'm always... I can't turn around fast enough, I can't aim good enough in this game, so I'm always scared of making a mistake here. Because these things can two-shot me, I think. On hard, at least. The thing doesn't shoot straight for sure, but you know, it's strong, so you can't really ask for that. I see you. Ooh, weapon. Okay, let's. I like to get to a nice area to fight. I don't like this area I'm fighting in. Maybe I should increase the sensitivity a little bit, because I feel like I'm really, really slow turning. We'll mess with it here after, in a second after I'm done with... Ugh! Come on! Go down already. May Thunderbow would be better. You'd be careful not to kill him. I think it's... I would assume it's still scaled. Like, you know, if I'm playing hard, I'm not going to take 100% of the damage of my weapon if I shoot myself. But I think still, regardless, 400 damage. Probably enough to kill me scaled. And you're up there. Alright, come on, get off the roof. Push too much resistance. We can't push through it all. Clear a path to the rear and retreat. Oh, retreat? Oh, that's mission clear. Wow, okay, that was fast. I want the armor! Eh, I got one weapon, but it wasn't anything good. That was a short mission, unfortunately.
Before starting in this, choose weapons. Deploy. Um, Return to the title screen. Deploy. Let's see what's choose next here. Ants in the dark. It appears that giant ants are evolving for our eyes. Ants in this newest outbreak can see in the dark, and they're marching night and day. They've launched a midnight raid on an urban area. Exterminate them. Okay, so we're gonna need to fight at night. I think what I have is good. I might take rapier this, or not rapier. I might take uh, thunderbow this time. Level three only. Okay. Let's do one more. Let's try and do three each episode, maybe, or somewhere around there. Okay, do we have drones? Or are these just ants? Wow, this is super dark. Kind of cool, though. I, I do like it. I wouldn't mind this in, like, an EDF-5. Oh, he almost got me. This is John. There's still civilians over in Blockout. We're gonna go rescue him. Yeah, this is cool. I like this. I really like this. I would like them to do this again. Just use the lighting from the buildings to light up the city. So if you destroy the building, I mean, I would assume then you have less and less light, which would be bad. <laughs> Actually, that would be interesting. I've... I wonder if you destroyed all the buildings in this map, you literally could not see. That'd be funny to find out. Hey, that's what they should do for the E-Clat. They should make the E-Clat like this Thunderbow, where it's it's a magazine weapon, so since the Thunderbow is now a single-shot weapon, make the E-Clat a magazine weapon, but make it so that it's, it's always spread out, doesn't come to a point. And it's like the old Thunderbow, but with less range. So it'd be, you know, under 200 meters, which I would use that a lot, I think. I think that would be a cool weapon. There we go. I, fixed, I found the answer. Actually, I want to make sure... Okay, there's more enemies. Make sure I collect these weapons, because... Weapons. We have an update on the Buggernaut Menace. New infestations have continued to appear all over the world, including Sydney, Paris, Atlanta, and Ottawa. Each of those cities has reported huge underground Let's overheat events, reload. in which more of the creatures continue to emerge. These enemies are high up this time. Looks like. Is the building going to blow up and then... That's a cool building, too. I like that. I want one of those in EDF 5. Very cool architecture in this game. I like it. The cities feel different, which is important. Alright, come on down. If I was a ranger, I'd be scared, but I'm not a ranger. It's a very good Thunderbolt. I like it a lot. I really do. It's only level 3, so, man, I think... I, I'm assuming there's no limits. I guess online there'd be limits, but... I'm assuming you can use any li weapon limits on this game. I think for me personally, I would like Wing Diver to be a harder class, and the way you could do that is making her energy consumption more, to where you would have to be a lot more concerned about overheating quite a bit more often. Because her strength is her flying, of course, so she should still be able to fly, but I think by making the flying just as easy as, as walking or running for Ranger defeats the purpose of, of 
the difficulty, like it, it makes the difficulty very skewed towards Wing Diver being a lot easier than Ranger. So allow Wing Diver to still fly, but make it so her energy is a lot lower. And I think I would like that better. I really would. I think because I would like all of, all the classes to be similar in difficulty, and I don't want the enemies to get faster or to be harder because um, I think there's no need for that. I think it's just the other classes that are too strong should be brought down a little bit. So that they're all on a level playing field. And uh, I think it's always good to make a challenging game, at least on Inferno. I mean, at least make it so Inferno's tough. Or make these changes just for Inferno only, maybe? I don't know. There, we got one weapon. That's good. I think that's it. The rest is health. Assuming that's it, because three waves. Not bad. At least you're going to unique places in this game. I like that. Thunder Cluster. That's a special grenade, I think. And the Ion 5-way. I don't want Ions! Or whatever they're, however you pronounce them. Before starting, return to the what uh, let's see what it looks like, choose choose at least. We got Ion 5-way. Level 16. 15 times 5. That's a lot more damage. I should give it a try, maybe. And then we got Thunder Cluster, which is a special grenade. Yeah. It's one of the most closely guarded secrets, and no one knows sure how it works. <laughs> Some say it uses a new type of cluster emanation, others say it's witchcraft. <laughs> really? Okay. I think that'll be it for this episode. I think we were about 20, 20, 30 minutes, so. So, yeah, pretty fun. I'm enjoying it so far. Um, I remember the boss would be really cool in this game, and that's what I'm excited, looking forward to seeing again, so. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching, and remember, EDF doesn't leave a man behind. Ever. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please consider liking. Thanks a lot.